Hello everyone, we're back. We are at Universal Studios. And my plan uh, for video today is to get all the, my favorite spots to get really nice pictures in the parks at Studio at Universal. I am starting over at Studios. It is early park admission for people staying on property and pass holders. So it's about 8.30 heading in. And so my first going. spot is of course by the icon, the globe, Universal Studios. I like to come over here by the boat and there's this perfect little edge right here where you don't have to fight for a spot. You can take your time to make sure you get the whole Universal symbol. And it's perfect. I either go right here or right up here depending if there's people or not. All along this fence is also a good option. You have plenty of space to take your time, take your pictures, and wait for, you gotta get the whole universal symbol. Just gotta, gotta get of it Of course that your way. next shot should be right in front of the archway, Universal Studios Florida. You get an awesome shot. Welcome back. It's a great picture. Of course you can always get your picture in front of all of the rides like Despicable Me Mayhem but I'm going to be doing some some other type of pictures like walls, some hidden sections that just look nice. If you're coming this year for Horror Nights this is the perfect Halloween spot. Continuing down this first street you will see Monsters Cafe. You'll see the outside stand out here with the monsters and the restaurant itself right here has an awesome picture spot. It has a little electric chair that you can sit on and then get the Monsters Cafe logo. When you see Jimmy Fallon, make a left and you will see the big loop for Rip Ride Rocket and some awesome palm trees. You can stand right there and get an awesome shot with the roller coaster in the background. So mind you, I'm all by myself right now. So there are some pictures that I already have that I could place in and there's others that I don't have yet and I just think would be cool pictures. So I'm trying to get like me with it to show you uh, but some of them I just can't get the angle so you have to like improvise, like you have to imagine it. All right? Continuing down, if you now make a right to Jimmy Fallon, you can get a beautiful garden picture here. making our way past Jimmy Fallon. That's the entrance and you will find the New York Public Library background as well as a subway station. So if you want to look like you are entering or exiting the subway, come head right over in front of that. They have this awesome door. Just a nice background for a picture. If you're heading here during Horror Nights this year, this is an awesome picture spot. Stand right in front of the window and grab that picture. We have made it in front of the mummy, so now if you turn to your right, you'll see some stoops. Right now they have some horror nights in front of it, but there is still two stoops available for pictures, like in this one. Just past the mummy and in front of the arcade, they have more stoops, and usually at this time there's no one down the street. So they just have a few options of that picture a full loop around and still in front of the arcade so if you keep going you'll see it but if you come this way there's another little alleyway this is, has like you could like stand right there get it as a view otherwise they have like random things they have a Coney Island sign they have some like uh, boxes like a uh, cargo warehouse right past this burger joint and where you get left off after Fast and Furious, you want to head down this way for one of my favorite pictures. Right next to the bar, you'll see the giant shark from Draws, Bruce himself, hanging there. This is my favorite place to take a picture. Fast and Furious, you'll get some cars. So if you're a car lover, place to get. Made my way into London. Let's get all these picture spots. You can get this great shot right in front. If you keep walking, there is a little walkway up here. So someone stands here, ba-bam, 
picture. Find a night bus, and usually someone is out there, so a lot of people go over there to take a picture. But if you come to the back, there is a spot right here that you could stand on and get your own picture. Get your picture leaning against it in the window. Right before heading in, you do have your telephone picture spot. Of course, right when you head in, you got that picture in front of that dragon. It's at 9.15 and it's not crowded in here. This is the first store you see. It makes a great picture spot. At this ice cream spot, you get this little window where people pop out. If you grab an ice cream and get a picture right in front of this, it's a super cute shot. Then right in front of the bank, you will see Hagrid's motorbike, as these people are doing. Water beer and hold on to the store or ticket in front of this window. In front of this spot to do your wand, you can get under there while the rain is falling. Right before heading into Nocturne Alley, you'll see this little darkened hallway. If you want a picture with the potions, holding your wand, you can just boop, do a picture of yourself right against this wall. Saying, hey, Nocturne Alley. Back in the front at the joke shop, and they have this dark mark. Here on the dark side, lean against that wall, right across from that one is this wall. I just love me some walls. Over here by Sugar Plum Sweet Shop, is an awesome picture if you grab like a lollipop, stand in front of it, can get that as your background, that as your background, and if you can get the whole thing all the way up there. If you make your way over here, there's a little door that says Butterbeer, another great spot to grab your Butterbeer and get a picture with it. You then have this wall, fireworks. It is the perfect wall. I really want a picture in front of it, but no one's with me. And as you're leaving, you have this little sign that says, Wizards Welcomed. Honestly, you can get a good picture anywhere in the Harry Potter sections. All the doors are colorful, there's a bunch of walls. So anything that speaks to you, matches your outfit, I'm all about that. Jump in front of it, get a picture. And during Horror Nights, they have this good guy section, right between like Simpsons and uh, Harry Potter. In front of Men in Black Alien Attack, you can get a great picture of the entire park basically passing right through Men in Black section. Unless you're taking a picture in front of the Men in Black sign, which go for it. There isn't really anything to take pictures in front of here. It's very minimalistic, like futuristic, but very minimal things in Simpsons, here. on the other hand, has lots of places to grab that picture. Of course, you got right in front of that gigantic Krusty for Krusty Land. And honestly, right now is the perfect time to get it. There's no one here. And of course I'm by myself, because it's always so crowded I never stop to get it. But I literally would be by myself. Dang it! You also have the Simpsons ride one. This is a great one for the family, I think. Pretend like you're on, on the ride. Super cute. Exit the ride, you have this wall. Grab a drink, sit down, look like you're drinking with him. Keep making your way and you got Duff. Grab yourself a Duff beer. You have this picture opportunity, and also in front of the Duff bar. You have all the bottles, and then you have the Duff sign. Of course, can take it in front of the famous Moe's. If you want it with Jebediah himself, his gigantic statue right here. Do that pose. Woof. If you even get your friend to lay on the floor with you, and that's a good one, come on. Then of course you have Lard Lad Donuts. Grab yourself a giant pink donut, or as I did in the picture, good spot. Of course you have the Back to the Future props. If you head into Central Park, you can get some scenic pictures of course. And then you have like the background of the rest of the park you can get. If you just want some trees, some bushes, it literally looks like a mini central for the kid zone. You got the logo right here, but we're gonna head into the SpongeBob store pants. Of course, you can get a great shot right out front with the side. You have Squidward's house. You got, of course, SpongeBob's house. 
Right on the side of the checkout is a nice chair. Customer service, out to lunch. And then right in the front is the jellyfish and surfboards. At the ET store, you have these little ET signage. So if you come close enough, it's a wall with the ET logo. And also in the store, you could pay to get your picture taken on the bike with ET or ET in the closet. I do have a picture of me and mom doing the ET. I think we did the closet. But I don't know if I uploaded it anywhere. So I don't know if I could add it. We got the hard copy prints. So I don't think I did actually. In the kids zone, the curious George section is usually open. It has some cute spots for the kids. But it is closed during this now. Time. In front of SpongeBob SquarePants, if you come down this walkway, you'll see all these little buildings that have cute little backgrounds. So this would be a nice wall. Just past the media center in that little walkway is La Bamba, which has this nice fountain you can get a picture in front of. Sometimes it is blocked off if there are current VIP tours, which it looks like today there is. But if it is open, it's just a nice little fountain area. Here in front of the Welcome to Universal Orlando is probably my favorite picture I've taken this trip. You of course have Mel's drive-in. Sometimes the cars are here, sometimes the cars are not. But you can get a great picture either way. Then of course Hollywood, you could just get a shot of you with the palm trees. This is where you'll find a lot of the characters. You'll find the Simpsons car, bus, trailer, whatever you want to call it. That's a good one. With or without the Simpsons. is also where you will usually find the mystery machine. Sometimes it is back by E.T., but the mornings it's usually always here. And the gang is hiding behind it today. You also have these cute uh, Hollywood Boulevard uh, stoplights. This is a if you are a Hello Kitty fan, you can head into the Hello Kitty store. They have this super cute little Hello Kitty with some popcorn. They also have this archway with Hello Kitty you can get as your background. This cute Hello Kitty statue. And as I'm exiting the park, you can get the background view of the archway with the beautiful palm trees. When it's not crowded, it is a great shot. And of course at the exit is the main place to take the globe pictures. It's also a good option. Uh, you can get it without people behind it if you stand close. It does at certain times get super crowded, usually early mornings and when people are leaving. So you're kind of fighting to get a spot, but if you can get there, go for it. I'm now heading over to Islands and hoping I can get this done because we do have other plans today. And that took me a bit of time, but Islands is a bit of more of a circle, so I think it's easier to get around. So, passing by the Hard Rock Cafe, and of course, you have this fantastic, gigantic sign and the giant guitar. And walking up to the Toothsome Chocolate Emporium. This one I think would be great if you grabbed one of the milkshakes from inside and you got that shot. Heading into islands and of course you gotta get the icon for this park. So as you enter you have the Adventure Begins little sign and I think this is the perfect one for your first day at the parks. You're also gonna find all these little like trinket uh, buses, cabs, random things in this section. So find one, grab that picture. Still walking and to your left, you're gonna see this Flora's Rare and Exotic Plants Wall. I found that this trip and it's a new wall for me. If you now go straight right from that same walkway, you're gonna head down some stairs where you can get some awesome shots. Water, you can get a shot of a lot of the park and you can get with the Velocicoaster in the background. Heading into Seuss Landing and you can get a picture sitting right here on the ledge with the Seuss Landing sign. 
Charger if you keep walking or it is one of the exits for the cat in a hat you will see this little section and it'll say cats hats and things and cats are my favorite if you have a hat on and you are a thing that's a great wall or if you don't want the saying they just have a wall empty this is technically one of the ride fronts that i was saying i was gonna skip over but i just love this one The Circus McGurkis Cafe has all these outdoor sections. The Remarkable Foon, that's a funny one to take in front of. So if any of these speak to you, you could sit in front of it. Or if the restaurant's open, you could put your head in if there's no one sitting there and get a picture. So you got the Trifla trees. I don't know if I'm saying that right. But you stand there and get all the trees as the background. Right in front of the high in the sky trolley is a little sign that says Bliss Street and Mulberry Street. That is a cute one. And if you can get the train passing by and someone take it from afar, right next to the Mulberry Street store, you got this little where you could stand there and take a picture with it. And right before you're about to exit Seuss Landing and go into Lost Content, they have this little section that says the Birthday Flower Jungle. So if you're here for your birthday, that is my top one. My grandma took one in front of me. Right, if you make a left right as you're walking in, right before Mythos, you walk down this little staircase and you keep going for a great spot. So you're basically right in front of the Mythos restaurant. You gotta find that staircase. And look at this view. This spot right in front of the Hulk is the best. If you sit here and someone gets your picture, it's an awesome shot. I'm by myself, so I'm gonna attempt it, but it's not gonna be that fancy. Just kidding, I tried. From the angle, I would have to like lay my camera. It's too far away, so you can't even see the Hulk there. But you would like sit over here, if you can sit up here, and you would get the background of the Hulk. You do need two people for this one. I tried to take a selfie and it just didn't. that one, you'll see this little stand and it is a small walkway that you might not think you can get to and you just keep following that walkway. Now if you want, you can make a left when you see the doors open. That is the walkway to Velocicoaster. You can get your picture with this archway as well as some shots of the Velocicoaster behind you and then you also have some Harry Potter section that you can get a picture with. And then if you go all the way back, I'm not because I'm running out of time, you can get of course the Velocicoaster. The drop. Back into Lost Continent where you could find a pretty good spot in the most random places here. If it's something speaks to you, grab in this it. place right on the side of Fire Eater's Grill. See this cute random fountain. Take a seat in front of it, you got yourself a picture. And then, still making your way, you'll see the fountain you can grab a picture with. We have made our way to Hogsmeade. Right after you get off the train, you'll see the sign that says which way you're going. You could sit right on that ledge. There you go. Of course, I would grab a picture right in front of that Hogwarts Express, as well as right under the Honey Duke sign. And if you grab that butterbeer, here is a butterbeer cart stand in front of. And of course, just get one with the background with the buildings. And if you want to get a Christmas card, they have this cute little wizard snowman with the background of Hogwarts. And did you even go to Hogwarts if you didn't get a picture in front of the castle? And then as you're walking the bridge, you can stand right here to get the castle with no one behind you. And then the true Jurassic Park sign. Of course in Jurassic area, you can just get some nice greenery as your background. Then you have the Jurassic Park truck with a dino. And of course you have to do the raptor encounter. Then you have this part of River Adventure that is a beautiful picture spot. Depending on which way you're coming, the way I went is after River Adventure. You can watch people go down and then you got this great shot. If you just want the background with the rocks and trees or if you want it with the background with the ride. Then you have another truck with the T-Rex. And right up Con, you can either do it with the sign or with the giant Con. Now heading into 
Mexican Lagoon where you can literally get a picture at every possible corner. So I'm not gonna go over everything because there's literally a picture spot everywhere you look. So totally up to you, just look around. They have all these singings, they have comic books, anything that you want as a picture, just go for it. Be sure to do this one. You want to hold your camera a certain way so that way it looks like Marmaduke is pulling you. So you're gonna have to flip the camera after you take it. And make sure you're like screaming so it looks like... And then just look at all the comic book sayings. We've taken one here before. You got this one. I'm gonna be going crazy. Maybe it's somewhere else, but I thought right here was the. Is this my good side? And I don't see it. Then it in our final area in Islands, Marvel. And honestly, once again, you can find a spot almost everywhere. Like if you like that dude, go for it. If you like Captain America, you got these guys over here, here by Fear Falls. We do have some like random like walls that you can go with. It's a little crowded, so I don't want to like be up in people's grills. But they have some walls over here as well. Bye bye Hulk. You can stand right here. Wait till the Hulk is passing. Roller coaster shot. It's right here when it just shoots out. And then as you're leaving, this is my favorite spot for the end of your trip. The adventure lives on. I like it as if you're walking, holding hands, a backward shot. Leaving islands, you also have this little fence, just a nice water view. And of course, on City Walk, right in front of Voodoo Doonuts, you gotta take a picture on the giant chair. And just like that, my day of finding picture spots in Universal Orlando Resort has come to an end. I think I got all my steps out and it is only 11 o'clock. So, today, I might need a big nap. Uh, I'm going back to the room because I need to shower. I'm very sweaty. Uh, I showered this morning, but I'm gonna shower it again because we are doing something else today. But, I hope you liked this video. Hope it helped you. I'm the type of person that likes to have picture spots while on vacation. I don't take pictures often anywhere else, only on vacation. So, I like to have different spots different ones for each trip so it's not always the same background of course if you see like a character I always post character pictures as well right now it's a little harder to see them and it's socially distanced but I hope you liked it and with that I say bye everyone <laughs>